So proportions, this new section is proportions, and it's just one tiny little step away from what you've been doing. So if the first four sections are making sense, all you have to do is keep in your head what a proportion is. And if you can remember that, you'll be good. So a proportion is this. I'm going to do the picture's worth a thousand words first. But a proportion would be something like 3 over 5 equals 6 over anyone? 10. 10. 10. 32. So 3 over 5 equals 6 over 10. The official math version um, isn't that a fraction equals a fraction, although that's true, but it says it's a statement, so I'm trying to do in this definition thing here, a statement that two ratios are equal. And that's really what we've been doing this whole chapter, agreed? Yeah. We've been taking something like this three-fifths, and maybe if I erase my six over ten, it looks like I can't erase it, but we say, well, I could take and multiply the three by two, that gets me the six, I could multiply the five by two, that gets me ten, and six-tenths should be equal to three-fifths because when you multiply by two over two, you're really just multiplying by oh, And that's where people were tuning me out. Two one, over two equals one. one. So this right here where we're multiplying by two over two, we really just took three-fifths and multiplied it by one. So it doesn't change its value any, but you get different numbers. Fair enough? Yeah. Yeah. So what we're doing is a little bit of repeat with this table down here. But then we're going to take this table and pull fractions out of it. Um, this will be the new part. So, okay, somebody give me a nice pretty multiplier other than 2? 32. 32. Yeah. So much for the nice and pretty. But, okay, so 1 times 32 is? 32. 32. 32. 2 times 32 is? 64. 64. So one proportion that you could have is, I'm going to get rid of my 32s, but 1 over 2 equals 32 over 64. Maybe I'll add my times 32 in a different color. But you could have picked a more normal number. You could have multiplied both sides by 3 or by 5 or something like that. Top and bottom both by 3. Okay. So review of section 4. We have this fancy data table type of thing here. We want to fill it up with equal ratios. So if three people eat 10 pieces of pizza, how many people can you feed with 20? Yep, so 6. And I'm guessing that you looked at it and said, okay, I could multiply this by 2. So then I multiply that by 2. Yes? Now, do we want to go from 6 to 12 or 3 to 12? Makes no difference. 3 to 12. Okay. So if we're going from 3 to 12, we multiply 3 by? 4. four. No, 5. 4. Should be the 4, yep. And if I multiply 3 by 4 to get that, then I take my 10 and multiply it by 4 to get? 40. 40. So that's a 40. Good. All right. Now... We want to figure out the number above the 5. How many people will 5 pieces of pizza fill up? Where do you want to start? 10, 20, or 40? Let's do 40. Yeah. 40, do we multiply or do we divide? Divide. Divide, I mean, multiply by a fraction. But 40 divided by what gets me to 5? 8. 8. Good. 40 divided by 8 is 5. Agreed? So then... I have to take my 12 and divide by 8, and I'll end up getting a decimal. I get a 1.5. So a person and a half? Yep, so about one and a half people you could feed with five pieces of pizza. Very last one. How are we going to get the 100? I'd probably start with either the 10 or the 20. Which one do you guys want to do? 20. 20 it is. So 20 times what gets me up to 100? 40. Times 5. So if, if 20 times 5 is 100, take what's above the 20, the 6 times 5. 30. 30. So in theory, according to this, if we have 100 pieces of pizza, it'll feed 30 people. That's not right. Big pieces of pizza. Or yeah. small people. Is okay. Really we okay for example two? Mm -hmm. Now the new part. So here's where some of you that are being squirrely. Front table. So this next part... We have all of these ratios now that are equal. And I wouldn't write this, but essentially what this says is it said 3 tenths, this first one. Well, we know that that's going to be equal to 6 over 20, which is equal to 12 over 40, which is equal to? 1.5 And equal to the last fraction. I'm running out of space. But you agree? We're really just saying each of these things, each of these columns is a fraction, and all those fractions are equal to each other. Fair enough? So what I would write then is they say write three proportions. Going back up to the top, a proportion is going to be a fraction equals a fraction. A fraction equals a fraction. 
So somebody just give me one of these fractions in here. Which fraction should we go with? So 3 tenths, I heard that first. So we'll say 3 tenths equals, what's one other fraction that 3 tenths could equal? 6 over 20. So that'd be one possible proportion. Why don't we take the 3 tenths again? And somebody give me some, some other fraction that 3 tenths is equal to. Could say, well, from our data table. Oh, 12, 40. Yep, 12 over 40. So we could say that one there. So 12 over 40. And maybe let's pick a totally new one. Instead of 3 tenths. 32. So somebody said 6 over 20. What's a new fraction we could pull out of that data table? 30 over 100? But there's tons of different possible combinations there. It's, it's not that those are the three combinations. Pretty much you pick any fraction and make it equal to any other fraction. So this one and this one, or this and this. Or. Does that work for you guys?